Today's sponsor is Tent Peg. Tent Peg, she can hold you down or she can lift you up. Tent Peg. At your local hardware stores and dealerships. Ever work out? The <laughs> this is this is me, <laughs> my uh, idea of working out. Actually, getting your exercise from outside, which I'm just down near, uh, well, the Halifax ferry terminal with a ferry coming in. This kind of set up here, and I'm going to do a little video vlog and show some of my exercise routine for setting me up for success in walking and biking across Canada. Things that just kind of loosened me up, got me strong, build up the strength to be able to survive, ooh, all that kind of terrain. <laughs> uh, anyways, oh yeah, and this is me. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna try to do here. Just set it up, uh, do a little exercise and see what goes. But you know, what a, what a, there's no, I don't think there's a better place to work out than say, right here <laughs> really um, yes even amongst the dirt where uh, not am I not only am I just exercising my body I'm also going to be exercising my immune reaction <laughs> so anyways I'm gonna get at it uh, let's go to it okay it's windy enough to blow my tripod over but you learn to adapt couple of tent pegs that hopefully will hold it but I do want to show you guys how I exercise. Uh, exercise outside uh, may not be always that convenient as balls like this like to blow away. Um, I'm gonna try to do it. Well there I am laying there for the public to see. <laughs> um, and what you see me doing really essentially is working everything into the core. That's legs, uh, there'll be arms moved in, but the core is very important. Living in Nova Scotia, growing up there and seeing the sail ships, and I, I guess it kind of got into my mind when I was thinking about training to go across Canada. What I was considering was a sailboat, uh, me as a sailboat. I have such a great journey at that point. But in a sailboat, you have a mast. In a human, well, you have the back that core um, that needs to hold everything together. Uh, if the mass breaks, that's it, journey over. So that's what you can see me doing there, working my core along with my legs. Um, now when I, when I talk about, uh, let's say the, the rigging, the sails, well the rigging would be the ligaments, the tendons, and the sails of a body I say are the muscles because that's what gets you moving that's where all you, you get all that energy to move it along however anywhere along from the mast to the rigging to the sails if it isn't working just right or let's say you've got too much um, <laughs> too much muscle on one side in this case say on a sailing ship you got too many men pulling on one side and not enough on another. You can imagine something's going to tear, someone's going to get injured, uh, and again, your your ship's going to be going off for repairs. Um, so a lot of these movements you see me there, even this one right there, is really just moving and getting things in the range of motion as carefully and as gently as possible, uh, preparing to do things greater. Basically, I have this theory as well. Um, you breathe before you move. You move before you sit up. You sit up before you stand. You stand before you walk. You walk before you run. You run before you leap. You leap before you fly. So a lot of this is just working up to greater and greater things. and. That is always a starting point, I find. When I do exercise, is always on my back, <laughs> doing things like, like this, you know, preparing to run, even though I'm not running. 
but it is getting it ready just just like an infant you might see <laughs> funny enough I look like you see babies do a lot of this stuff before they actually get up and move for real um, exercising and practicing and preparing those muscles for something bigger and greater and greater yeah and the back and forth movement is again trying to expand that range of motion and you know am I going to run around the corner is the hill going to get me but uh, <laughs> this in itself uh, was an exercise I came up with thinking about pulling the trailers strollers on the gravel roads um, as you can see I'm kind of shaky there but you have to have great balance great coordination throughout your muscles <laughs> in order to handle that now I remember training for my walk uh, it wasn't outdoors <laughs> when I went and did this well, I did train outdoors but uh, this in particular what I ended up doing <laughs> which was uh, uh, clever and a necessity at the same time <laughs> I would take a liter, a liter and a half of water. This is much more than a liter and a half. Uh, and then I would go up and down 24, 25 flights of stairs. And, and when that water was done, I was done. Uh, that led into going uh, where I had uh, a liter and a half in one hand, a liter and a half in the other. And I was going up and up and down these stairs. And uh, yeah, when I was finished that, I was ready for a walk across Canada. <laughs> but these do come in handy. Part of working out, it doesn't matter where you do it. <laughs> it, it can be working in as you're working out. But uh, working out is uh, very much healthier, I think, outside, you know, amongst this, the atmosphere of it. Um, but yeah, here's my water jugs. Um, you don't even have to go to a gym, really. I. I'm just going to use the water I bring along with me. Uh, I probably won't empty these by the end of the day, but hey, <laughs> maybe I'll give it a shot. But you know, you can use these such as this or exercise like that, or you know, extra a little bit of weight when you're doing some knee bends. I'll show you. But yeah, that's also building right there, stabilization in the knee, giving you balance, getting muscles to work together uh, in coordination. Uh, basically, head-to-toe workout, really. Uh, that's why I like to kind of throw everything together. Um, <laughs> not in the best shape right now, but uh, as you can see, I have been. <laughs> but this is what will get you there, you know, exercises like this, um, anywhere. Moving, moving like that. I like that one. This is, as you can see, almost, I've seen those pigeons. It looks like they inspired me a bit. <laughs> looks like I'm warming up to fly here. I think, like I said just earlier, um, you know, you have to, well, stand up before you walk, walk before you run, and, uh, well, leap before you fly. <laughs> there you go, Trevor. We'll be flying in old time. And of course, you know, work out, use the environment. Yeah. Um, I, I kind of thinking of the parkour runners, the free runners, you know, um, using whatever terrain to leap and jump and flip and run around. And so use that terrain, use everything. and run if you feel free. Walk if uh, running is a little bit too difficult for you. And check out the scenery. Oh, who's that guy? Oh, no. I know him. You know, and you don't have to run anywhere. You can just take an easy and run on the spot. I did this for two years. <laughs>
three years, two years, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, you ready for it? Leap. Ten peg, they can hold you down or they can lift you up. Ten peg. It's awfully windy up here. I don't know if it will uh, record the audio very well. But uh, part of the exercise uh, is to really exercise your, and I don't even know what that is. I pronounce it as strength. <laughs> the strength you get from being strong. So that is about it, folks, uh, for the exercises, the basic exercises I used to prepare myself for, well, a walk, a bike ride, and even a run. Um, get you ready for whatever you're going to take. Um, what else do I want to say to that? <laughs> well, I'll say this. Um, I would do this first thing in the morning before I went to work. Um, and I would do the same when it came out at night. It would be quite repetitive. Uh, you know, reps could be up to a hundred reps, uh, at least two sets each for all those exercises. Um, and it, it got me in shape. Um, also if I was on my days off getting ready, I would do those exercises as well at before and after, um, yeah, it wouldn't matter if I went 20, 30, 40 kilometers. I would do those exercises. Just keep things together. Keep it doing what it needs to do. And I went across Canada virtually injury-free. Now, we'll imagine, for the campers out there, imagine going 40, 50, 60 kilometers and then having to set up camp at the end of the day. Um, I'd have to do that. <laughs> but... I'm going to get back into shape. I, I wasn't too pleased with what I seen there. And unfortunately, I had quite a bit of trauma go on in my life recently. So it kind of kept me away. Um, uh, passing of loved ones last year and catching COVID was so bad. I really wasn't clear of it until two months. And I did try to exercise, but that was just leading to me, um, well, darn near passing out sometimes. <laughs> Anyways. There you go. Uh, enjoy exercise. And those are my exercises. The key to, for you to do is to just move. Find your own exercises that suit what you do in life <laughs> or want to do or want to achieve. Uh, pick your own exercises. <laughs> and I'll leave it at that. Cheers, folks. Ten.